Welcome to my channel, the DZ Phoenix, where I'll cover everything about the Algerian national team and their players. Today, I'm going to talk about the game Borussia M. Gladbach versus Manchester City, where Manchester City beat Borussia 2-0. As I assume all of you who follow the Algerian national team know that Rami Zbaini and Riyad Mahrez play for each of these teams respectively. Bispaini obviously plays for Borussia and Gladbach and Real Mahrez plays for Manchester City. There's a lot of things in this game that frustrated me. First of all, Real Mahrez did not play until the 68th minute and I was really disappointed by this because he was in such a good form the past two games in the Premier League when he went against Everton he scored a spectacular goal and he made an incredible assist to Raheem Sterling against Tottenham, which was the last game they played in. But of course, it's not unusual for Guardiola to not play him and put him on the bench in the Champions League. And it's unfortunate because he is a player of such high quality and is very valuable to the Algerian national team, especially since he's our captain. Rami Mizbaini Although his team lost, overall he did a pretty good job defensively and that none of the goals were his fault. He gave his teammates a chance to recover time and time again because he defended well and prohibited Manchester City players to score a goal on numerous occasions. I will say he didn't make one mistake. He was trying to pass it back to a player, the goalie, I wasn't really sure. And Manchester City got the ball and they almost scored, but his teammates helped him out. So he was lucky there, but in general, he played very well. In general, Borussia and Gladbach was not very confident. They did not look for other players. They were kind of blinded by the goals, if that makes any sense. And I could tell that they were intimidated by Manchester City and the recognition and how they're always been in the top flight in the Premier League. They needed way more confidence and instead of always playing back, they should have played forward more offensively. I barely saw any attempts at the goal. I, mean, I saw maybe like, I think only two real attempts at the goal, but it was kind of very lackluster. There wasn't any real impressive amazing action from them it was just really bland and Borussia and Gladbach mostly played defensively and I guess because of that Manchester City didn't score as much as they could have despite how good they were I mean they did lose 2-0 but it could have been much more if they were less defensive it just they really needed an attack they needed people to score they need people to create nice actions. Manchester City, in general, they knew how to create spaces, they knew how to put pressure on the other team, they knew exactly what they were doing. My criticism really comes from the fact that when Mahrez got on in the 68th minute, they were barely even passing to him. What really frustrated me was how Kyle Walker doesn't really play with Mahrez like I said in a previous video. I think it was the Manchester City versus Everton game I saw that Mahrez was all alone on his side Cal Walker saw him and immediately passed it to someone else. I Really don't understand why he's doing that Jealousy probably he's not as talented as him but at the end of the day you have to play as a team. It doesn't really matter who you're playing with or who you're not playing with. The goal of the team is to work together and score goals, to win trophies, to win competitions, but you can't be individualistic. You can't just totally ignore another player, especially when that player is really talented. It's gonna work against you. Mahrez always creates chances. He's a very technical player and people in his team should treat him with more respect, especially players like 
Kyle Walker, Fernandinho, De Bruyne, like sometimes maybe Silva, but for the most part, it's those three players that are just wrecking it. Honestly, that's all I have to say for today. Tune in next time for another video if you like content about the Algerian national team and their players. See you next time.